Hi, this is Maury Moreland Morrison, here to tell you GEICO has more than just great savings. Much more. GEICO's been around for more than 75 years, back when they were using Morse code. Sorry, that's just my sense of humor. What's more, with GEICO, you get 24-7 access to licensed agents on the app, online, or over the phone, so you can talk to them at night or in the morning. So forevermore, just know that no other auto insurer has more more than GEICO. More power to you. GEICO. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. Episode 902 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. This is your host, Jeff Alpin, the big game hunter. I'm the head coach for Job Search, CoachingHQ.com, and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com, and welcome. The, the title of the show today is a little quirky, Getting Past Ugly. And it comes from an article that a friend of mine wrote for LinkedIn a while back. And I think it's a very useful reminder to you that you can get better. And I explain what you can do. Hope you find it helpful. Hope you reach out to me for coaching. There's information about that at the end of the show. And in the meantime, let's get going. My friend Alan Hunkins wrote an article recently for LinkedIn. That's uh, A-L-A-I-N Hunkins, H-U-N-K-I-N-S, about people who want to build an an executive presence, people who want to demonstrate their command and leadership in, in organizational settings. And he wrote about uh, preparation, calling it the ugly phase. The ugly phase occurs when you've done a certain amount of homework, you've prepared your thoughts, and the first time you st- uh, stand up and present to your dog or cat or to the mirror, and you do it a few times, and the words come out of your mouth, and you think to yourself, oh, this is awful. And then you say, you know, this is probably good enough. You know, you haven't gotten to the point where it's completely refined, where it's second nature to you, and you kind of go, eh, it's good enough. Um, The ugly phase happens in interviewing as well, because Lord knows the first time or two you go on an interview, you have an idea of what you want to say in in answering questions, but it comes out of your mouth in a half-assed way. Uh, And you wince afterwards, and you blame it on the interviewer, but the fact is, it's your doing. Now, the only way to get past the ugly phase is with preparation is the six P's uh, from sports is proper preparation prevents, excuse my language here, piss poor performance. It'll help you work through these thoughts so they come out of your, your mouth eloquently. Now, remember, there are people who are professionals and there are people who are amateurs. And in business, it's easy to spot the amateurs because they're just not prepared. They may have the knowledge, but you put them into a situation and you can tell their preparation is inadequate. Interviewing is the same way, except you only have one chance. So once you're working for a firm, maybe you have one chance to present to a particular group, but you go, ah, Uh, uh, uh. And the next time you've learned your lesson, you can do it differently and and rebuild any sort of um, uh, lost image in the organization uh, through better preparation. But in an interview, only one chance because they're likely going to reject you. So take the time to get past the ugly phase of your preparation. There are lots of different questions that you're going to be asked. If you don't know what some of them are, uh, look at my video playlist called Tough Interview Questions because I have a ton of them there. And you know, if you want to have some fun, there's the Hedge Fund Brain Teaser. Uh, there's, there's that playlist as well that you can re- rehearse with. But practice hearing what you sound like as you answer these questions. Talk to someone. Let them ask the questions of you and demonstrate that that you're working through this phase to the point where you appear like a master, to the point where you appear polished. Now, another venue that you can improve at, and you're not necessarily doing it with um, interview, well, you're not going to do it with interview questions. What you're going to be doing is is short, extemporaneous, one to two minute speeches, is, is the area 
is the organization called Toastmasters. Toastmasters is an international organization where people refine their public speaking skills. And there's a section of their meetings called Table Topics, where you're called up to the lectern and have an opportunity to speak for one to two minutes on some topic that you have no idea what the topic is in advance, but what you wind up doing is refining spontaneous uh, speaking, which is one of the characteristics of a job interview. So Toastmasters is another way of doing it, although not specifically for a job interview. It'll help you tremendously. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here's a few ways that I can be of help to you. First of all, if you're interested in one-on-one coaching from me, help with interview preparation or with assistance on a salary negotiation, email me at Jeff Altman at TheBigGameHunter.us in the subject line. Tell me what it's about, coaching, interview prep, salary negotiation, whatever it is. Just put it in the subject line and in the body, just tell me what's going on and we'll schedule a time to speak. Next, if you're interested in resume and LinkedIn profile reviews, critiques and such, or a job search makeover where I review every aspect of what you've been doing in your search and try and help you make corrective action one time, you can find out about it at my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.us. Look for the tab on top that indicates the kind of service that you want. Click through, place the order, and we'll get to work right away. And, and... There's always JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I have curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read that's going to help you find work more quickly. Plus, through the site, for one price, you can also ask me questions as well. Again, that site is JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I'll be back with more soon, and in the meantime, have a great day. Take care. You're listening to Love Advice with Leanne. Caller, you're on the air. Uh, hi, Leanne. Long-time listener, first-time caller. <laughs> Why, in your professional opinion, do you never take my calls off the air? Is this Carl? Yep, it's Carl. I mean, we had a few dates. Everything was great, I thought. Uh... Well, you know, when you switch to GEICO, you could save a lot of money on car insurance. Okay, awesome. You should call them. I will. GEICO, because saving 15% or more on car insurance is always a great answer.